heritage style boots why do you do videos on heritage style boots which these are the definition of heritage style meaning it's kind of like a dressy kind of um thing meaning not necessarily for work but you can wear them for work well why wear heritage style but why don't you just wear frumpy sneakers like everybody else do well um, you know, when you have a face like mine, you need something to distract from your my ugly face. And the first thing to look at is some sh crazy, insane, beautiful shoes. That's why. That's why. That's why you need to get shoes like this because your life ain't over. <laughs> you don't have to wear them frumpy tennis shoes. Okay. Hi guys and welcome to David Romero Art Gallery. I'm David Romero. I have been doing um, reviews on really good shoes. Sometimes Thursday boots, sometimes other um, boots and shoes. And I've been wanting to do some stuff some reviews on another pair of my favorite great quality shoes and these are red wings this is kind of the exciting part right here when these arrived in the mail and i saw the d i go yeah that's the right width and then the 11. I mean, to you, that <laughs> means nothing <laughs> at all. But I know for me, that's the right size in Red Wings. And, and when it saw 33, 26, I was like, wow. Because that is a past season. And I was like, and it came in this box. So I'm kind of doing an unboxing as well and you kind of caught a peek of it already but okay I cheated these is them the Red Wing 3326 Chukka Desert Boot unbelievable because this is August 22 and this is the past season and um, absolutely <laughs> this is in I guess a red maple mold skinner so let's get started with the review so this is the red wing weekender and I own several of the 3300 The Weekender series. Why? Because I just simply think it's the best of Red Wing. And um, it's past season, not available in the US. You can get these here and there, but it's mostly European market, which is probably appropriate for the Chukka boot, the desert Chukka boot, if you know the history of the desert um boot um i'll get into that in a minute but um there you have it um these came in different several different colorways i think about five different colors including the hawthorne mule skinner which i do have a pair and this is just red wing at its very best there's a lot to get into the midsole then there's the the sole this crepe sole which is Red Wing advertises as a fertilizer proof sole. Fertilizer proof sole. Make of that what you will. And there's the, the Taslin laces, which, you know, I can't even, pictures can't ex describe what those laces, 
how they feel the wiry texture to them and people who own them know what i'm talking about um but yeah it's great function daily use it goes with most of your wardrobe lots of people don't like the chukka the desert boot i happen to like them quite a bit and these are really amazing putting these on um yeah I, it was tough i used a metal shoehorn to get them on and man you know you can feel the thickness of the leather and but they're very comfortable right off the box i own those ones oh those are the 3303 i want those ones those are the king of red wings <laughs> okay so why why would you compare the doc martens to the red wings well, well uh some people compare the, the red wing boot. to the uh started out doc martens very much like red wing the chuckle boots were actually the desert boots in the great britain there, there you know as a Br british forces and used marketed as boots a working in class Burma boot in india and, and they have a very storied Africa, history Sandy and were adopted by rock and, and roll and, and punk That was the beginning of the heritage of the Desert Boot. I do I do boot. recommend you the check Doc them out. Martins, the Red Wing, the Desert Boot, the working class. Well, okay, great, so the Great Britain there are at that time. The Western, Western class boots. Yeah. Desert and also and very historic. Yeah. The Western yeah. 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 for me. Sit and Nancy. There in the sand and whatnot. I Although Doc Martens has a really storied history and great yeah, really um, um uh, stories you know, of the, the beginnings, beginnings were very shoes very interesting so, that's been my review on the red wing weekender 3326 chukka desert boot i hope you enjoyed it and i will catch you on my next video <laughs>